Hey folks, it's Rose. I'm going to do a quick garden share update. I always say quick, it never ends up quick, but uh, it's been a while since I did the perennial garden share. And when I did the last one, things were just barely coming out of the ground. And uh, now it's just uh, all green. <laughs> so there's a lot of different things going on in here. Unfortunately, I'm going to be limited today because we've been getting so much rain that my garden is uh, literally flooded. My whole backyard is actually flooded. This is where a pool normally goes, not a pond. Uh, you can see some of the flooding. But um, I cleaned out one bed here to try to get my, my greenhouse plants in, and um, it's still flowing with water from up the hill. And the water table is really, really high. So I can't really plant here yet. It's all flooded. And so it's here too. This is another bed I finally got cleaned out to plant in. And we're still flooded. Flooded pretty good. It's actually a pretty deep hole. <laughs> Hard to tell in video, but yeah, there it is. There's where I was trying to step around some puddles and uh, sunk in about four inches. So. This is all swamp. <clears throat> you can hear me squishing through my grass. I don't think I can cut my grass for about a week. Because this is all like swamp back here. You can't see it, but it's under the grass. So, Colt's foot. Colt's foot's crazy. Doing really good. He likes the swamp. There's the swamp. Uh, the mint has just taken over even worse than usual. I've pulled out some of the uh, mugwort so that the valerian could grow. It's already flowered. Let's see. Valerian flowers. There you go. And the sea rose flowered. Uh, there you are. There's the sea rose flowers. I don't know if it's due to the wetness or what, but the um, willow bush doesn't look right. It's all leaning over. And it's not from wind that I can tell. I guess it must just be the water. That's a bush. It's not supposed to look like that. Okay. Anyway, what else is going on in the perennial garden? More mugwort. Nice and tall now. I could barely identify it before. Mint already flowering. Oh, nope, sorry, take that back. That's not mint flowering. That's a clover flower. Um, drew some artichoke. There's comfrey. It's looking very happy. It's already flowering. Pretty little flowers on that. I gotta get some of this mugwort out because I do have other things growing. Just one little silver cane sticking out there. A couple more trying to come through. Comfrey, just uh, going like crazy. A little bit of dill. Here. Actually, I think it's fennel. I get them confused uh, until I break off a piece and smell it. I don't know. A lot of weeds in here. Somewhere there's lemon balm. Let's see, lemon balm. That's lemon balm. Right there. I've tried cleaning up some of this corner. It's been difficult. Thought the chickens would take care of some of the mint, but no. Mint's grown like crazy. Gooseneck glue strife is uh, <coughs> also still here. And it's growing up the wall, apparently. Tansy's growing, even though the chickens kind of got at it. Um, it's pretty resilient. And I got weeds like crazy. Um, oh, I can show you those. <laughs> I have... Uh, Grapevines that are growing up there, which I've not been able to do a thing with yet this year. It's not been a good year for the garden and me. I haven't had time. Milkweed growing amongst the uh, other things. This is a wild lettuce right here. These big serrated leaves. I mean, these are big leaves. Uh, sorry, let me unzoom it and you get a better clue. Big leaves. Wild lettuce. Uh, ouch. I do believe it's um, got opioids or something similar to that in it. 
I don't know if I can get in my garden or show you anything else just because it's so muddy. But I will try to go around and see if I can get in. Uh, it's not real likely. This is an area I haven't cleaned up yet. I had cabbages and broccoli and things growing in last year and now it's all dandelions. And I think a new birch tree. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I can sort of get in. My poor peonies have been decimated by the heavy rains. And we're beautiful. And peonies. Oregano has already passed my knees. There's the foxglove. And um, the foxglove is its babies this year that came up. Over here. So those are baby foxgloves. Their first year. So it's really nice to see that spread. Oh, these look like they're about ready to pop flowers. See some buds. Right there. Oh, I don't know what I got in here. Um, sink foil, which is about ready to flower. This is the uh, erect sink foil. There's also a ground one. And I know there's globe thistle, probably buried. Trying to find one. There's one. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, I can find it. That's a globe thistle. Hasn't put out its um, its flowering part yet, but it's being overtaken by all the mint. Huh. Boy, what else is there to share? My marshmallow. I think I can get it. Poor garden. Between the rain and everything else, I just have not been able to get at things. Marshmallow's not flowering yet, but it is doing well. It's almost up to my shoulder height. There's you know, the leaves. And so far this year, knock on wood, I don't have that fly that was infesting the leaves. So, that's doing well. Um, yeah, it's kind of a mess out here. The, uh, oh, my chamomile bed got decimated. That's all I got left of chamomile, the green in there. Something uh, took over. I think it was primarily grass, which we pulled out. So, I don't know about the chamomile. But yarrow, yarrow um, seems to tolerate just about everything, so I got a pretty large yarrow patch here started showing you with my roses. Now the garlic <laughs> is in the swamp, so I don't know if it's going to, um, I don't know what it's going to do. Uh, I don't know if I get out this way. We are going to find out. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, so that's my garden chair. Oh, I guess the Day lilies are almost open. The bearded irises are almost done blooming. That's what's left. Amaranth. I got like crazy. It's amaranth. There's more over there. Which, depending on the season, could grow to six feet tall or, or higher. It's an old world green. The chickens are having a blast with the water. They've made a nice, uh, I don't know what you call it, along the chicken fence in the water. Really, they love it. See, just bloomed. Some of it. Of course, the chickens have access to this, so it's becoming a mess. You have some pretty roses. Not bad, huh? Okay, I think that's a long enough garden chair. Oh, flood share. The um, that's the run on the back of my barn for the chickens. The water's gone down now, but yesterday when I came out of, uh, near dark, there were th three inches of water in that run. <laughs> so we're supposed to get more rain tomorrow. I'm just praying that this water goes down. Say hi, chicky. Hey, good morning, chick chick. Good morning, chick chick. Alright, well y'all have 
Great day. Thanks for watching my oh, a ten minute long short garden show. <laughs> when I get things up and uh, planted, the uh, annual veggies uh, after things dry out, oh, I will share again. Thanks and bye.